been so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure We are in Sinahope, which is the southern village of Fainui And it has actually won the prize in 2011 as the prettiest village in Denmark Which is pretty cool most of the buildings are 300 to 200 years old and they were all built from uh, 1750 to 1850. So we're gonna check out this beautiful village and share it with you guys. It's just filled with thatched houses everywhere and red bricks and then they have a little bit of white around and some green usually, but it is really cute here. I love it. It reminds me a lot of Skane uh, in the north of Jelen. We made a video from there as well Except that all the houses were yellow and white and had red roofs So but it's kind of like that uniform feel when you go into a village where everything matches each other It's it's super cool having a Sichuan meetup and a market over here so there's a lot of stuff going on in Sunohu today we should get this one as a car number two because a lot of times you buy like a small little car for small trips if you have two cars but I'd like this one as a car number two <laughs> they have a whole garden here with herbs and rhubarb and all kinds of stuff and you can buy it right there that's awesome it's a lot of fun to explore a village that actually hasn't burned down i was just thinking about that because it says on this church that that part is from 1782 and most places we go unless it's like a castle or something it hasn't lasted that long it's always been burned down at some point so being in a village where everything is original like that is really rare and very beautiful little cultural insight there's nothing about this church or this graveyard that is typical danish the churches are normally white this one's a red brick and they usually have a tower this one does not it just has this little thing up here where you can put a bell and a lot of times all of the churchyards they have like little um kind of like this over here so they have little bushes so you have your own private little small little space with the like with kind of like a garden but most of this space is more like you know it from the states where you have a lawn and then you have all of the gravestones. I like this style. I don't know why. This little garden thing never appealed to me. It's a lot of fun how things can vary even in a small country. The church is actually open because there's a private tour right now. We just need to peek in. Amber pearls right here are a thousand years old Viking pearls. They found them on the beach right down here. That's pretty cool. In here you can buy handmade silks. That's crazy. I just talked to the lady who owns the place and she said that historically they've always had a lot of silk on Fainu because of the trade with the ships and stuff. So silk is even in their like their original dress when they dress up um, and that is actually something that's kind of funny. You don't have that in a lot of places in Denmark. Oh, see who I found. Three sisters little coffee shop over there. Really good. Most of the houses in this village have been built so they uh, go east to west so they have the, sh the smallest surface facing the west wind then they put the animals on that end and then the people on the other end so most of the houses they go one direction this is so crazy it's like being in Hansel and Gretel the whole time they're playing folk music in here. The 
we just love exploring little towns and villages and all the little side alleys and stuff. It's a really neat place. I honestly don't think I've ever seen this many thatched roofs together in one place ever in my life. It's very impressive. They used to have quite a big harbor here, but the sand has come in and completely closed it off. So you can't have a ship here anymore. But it's amazing the city that it's created, all the wealth and all the trade and silks and all that stuff. Pretty awesome. They have a flooding pole here. So they put little metal markers every time they've had a flood so they can measure how how far the water came up and in 1928 I would have been underwater and the very top one was 1939 so those 10 20 years they must have been rough around here 1981 that was right before I was born 1852 